Welcome to Service About Rugby League. Today on the agenda we're going to be talking about the off-contract players currently who haven't been tied down by their club. Um, they can now speak to other clubs after the transfer window opened last week. So, first I come in on you with this one, Jason, because as a St. Helens fan, obviously doing really well this season, but you have a few players who are currently performing at a high level who uh, are yet to agree new deals, such as Theo Farge, who's been a standout player this year, Zed Tai, and Kyle Amor. Uh, which of those would you like to keep, and uh, is there any current off-contract players who you'd like to see Saints bring in for next year? Uh, yeah, well, definitely Theo Farge has been brilliant this year. He's been made himself the starting half-back. I think they'll be doing everything to the time down. Do you think he's better than Danny Richardson on current form? Would you, yeah, if you were the Saints both, coach, who would you have in the halves? I'd go with Farge's with yeah, I think he's slightly he's better defensively and he's got slightly a bit more experience rugby like brain, if you know what I mean, in yeah. the half back. Yeah, so I think he's ahead of Danny Richardson at the moment. There's obviously Lomax is currently in the half, so if if they want to keep Theo Farge, what does that do? For Danny Richardson, because you've got two outstanding players in the halves there, and only one of them can really play. So, so as a Saints fan, what what would you do in that situation? Because Richardson's been at, at Leon loan, would that put his future in doubt? Yeah, he could. He could. You would think he might want to move somewhere where he will play first team. The only hope is that being a local player coming through the academy, that might. Well, we've pretty st got a strong squad of local players that they can keep. If it would sign on to stay. So hopefully he'll be all right with trying to impress to get into the first side rather than leaving the club. So of the, of the current off contract players, we, you've talked about Alex Meller at Huddersfield. Would you would you like to see any others come in, and why would you like to see him come into Saints? I think Alex Meller's a very good player at Huddersfield, and uh, I think they'll be doing everything to tie him down. Um, yeah, I think he's only what twenty four, a good second rower, and I think Zeb Tayers currently off contract for us at the moment and he's coming to the end of his career so it'd be a, a nice change that I think if we could get Alex Miller. Well Saints recruitment has been outstanding this year you've you've obviously got the solid foundation there from last year but you've lost Ben Barr but you've replaced him with great players so would you be happy to just see the squad remain as it is now for next year? Um, yeah that'd be the big thing. The majority of players that we can keep then yeah, the ones that are like off contract there that Douglas Morgan I think they'll be going anyway they're not Playing currently in the squad, and I presume they'll try to keep Adam Swift. So he's a good backup winger. Yeah. Now <coughs> we'll come to you now because uh, <laughs> Hull have been linked with a lot of players. We've been speaking earlier that they want players from down under, but they potentially could get players from over here. I mean, they're looking at the NRL, but which players from over here would you like to see Hull add? Because I mean, <sighs> is, is there a big overhaul ahead of Hull, or I, what I, do you I, see? I, well, I mean, we've got an awful lot coming to the end of their deals, haven't we? Um, obviously, Gareth Ellis, who's just come out of retirement. Um, you know, you've got people like Sikamanu, Mark Minicello, Mickey Payer. You know, people like that coming to the end of deals. I would see Sikamanu being given another year because I just think what he does is absolutely immense and a lot of people don't realise it. I mean, we all know he's the scariest man in Super League, but um, he, what he does for all good is a lot of unseen work. You know, he's got an offload in him that, you know, sometimes defies the laws of gravity, frankly. And you know, and he, and he, despite his age, he still he can still do it. And the same would have to go for Mark Minicello. Um Having said that, Mini is now he's he's. I, th I think Mini will retire. I think, you know, it, a lot depends on what happens the rest of this season. But I think Mini will retire. Gareth Ellis, I'm not, I'm not so sure. Because he, he looks in very good shape. You know, for somebody who was out for over a year and then came back out of retirement. And he's, you know... I think people are learning again not to go running at him. So when all but, these players come back though, Ian, is is Gareth Ellis go, going to carry on playing because there's no need I, for him? I, I think he will, yeah, because he's. I mean, you know, he is the reserves team coach, you know, and at the moment there's quite a few of our reserves team are playing. You know, the likes of Connor Wynn, um, 
you know, um, we've got obviously people like um, the, the lad Kit Buchanan who made his debut on Friday night, you know, you've got people like Brad Fash, you know, uh, Cameron Scott, you know, they're, they're all playing at the moment and they're regular reserves players, so you know, it's like he's coaching them on the pitch at the moment. As for who I think will leave us at the end of the season, I think Mickey Payer will retire. Um, I think Danny Washbrook will retire. Um, Joe Westerman, from what I understand, I believe he's already being offered another contract, and I, th I believe that will get that will get sorted sooner rather than later. Beretta Ferreira, I think, will be offered a deal, although. Then again, there's also this um, whisper about this um, Fecky from the uh, from Cronulla could be on his way, possibly. Um, Chris Green, Dean Hadley, Jez Litton, Jack Logan, they'll all get new deals, I'm sure of that. Uh, Jack Sanderson, who's been on the fringe, hasn't made his first team debut yet. Unfor he had an unfortunate injury, but I can see him being offered another year for the moment, you know, and being put in the reserves for the moment, you know, once he gets back from his injury, you know, and see how he goes. Cameron Scott will obviously get another deal, you know, because it, I think Lee Radford is a big fan of his. As for players coming in, I, I know we've been connected with Glenn and, um, is it Alex Glenn and Kane Evans from the NRL, and... George Burgess. I'm not sure that George Burgess link is very serious. Uh, Kane Evans certainly is, the, is just the sort of player Hall really need at the moment because they need a dominant prop. Apart from that, we'll go and get Luke Thompson from St. Helens instead <laughs> of Alex Wormsley or someone like that, you know. But oh, then again, Kyle Amor's becoming available. However, yeah. I don't think he's that dominant prop that Hull really need at the moment. You know, whoever comes in has got to be able to go pound for pound with Scott Taylor. And, you know, I don't think Kyle Amor would, do, I don't think he'd let anybody down. But mm. I don't think he's what Hull need right now. He, he you know, I, I think Kane Evans is just the type that we really need right now, certainly. Yeah, so I'm just, obviously from a Leeds point of view, I'm looking, alarm bells are ringing for me, looking at Brad Dwyer <laughs> off contract, because apart from Conrad Horrell, he's been our only decent player this season. Um, Leeds have been linked with Josh Jones from Salford, which I think would be a good acquisition. Uh, but uh, a lot to do with, uh, I think the Rhinos transfer dealings are... <laughs> and be much to do with who comes in and, and what position they're in. And I think that's particularly the case for teams like London as well, because I'm looking at their off-contract players and none of their entire first team. A lot of these players who I'm looking at are first-team players are off-contract. Like so Alex Walker, who's been impressive at full-back. He's been linked with clubs. Um, just looking at other teams, Salford have got... Rob Lewis being linked with Hull KR, and then we've spoke about Jackson Hastings. Now, where is he going to end up? Is Jackson Hastings holding out for an NRL deal, or is he? What is he doing? He's biding his time. What? Where do you think he'll end up? If he don't get an NRL deal, I would fancy Wigan. Yeah, the sort of destination for Jackson. Yeah. Somebody's going to pay him the big contract, especially if George Williams goes to the NRL. Yeah, because he's been linked with Canberra and, and Hastings. Wigan have attempted to sign him before, um, and. I think we're gonna really need a big star signing at the moment, don't they? Because they're they're they, they do. They're kind of I think they're looking at St. Well, Helens at the moment and a lot of Wigan fans well, are very envious of their I position. Mean, Wigan for the last few years have just been absolutely pillaged, haven't they? They've Sutton, Bateman, yeah, you know, Williams on his way potentially. You know, I, I just think Wigan need to go out and get somebody, you know, that says you know, they need a statement signing, if you like. You know, they need somebody who is going to put bums on seats. Jackson Hastings is one who could do that to an extent. However, I think Wigan, what they really need to do is go and get themselves a really big name from the NRL. You know, like, obviously, Warrington have went and got Blair Costin and they've got Widop coming in next year. Saints went and got Nagama and... Coot, yeah. you know, and 
you know, and you know, other other teams are doing the same sort of thing, and I think we're gonna need to do something similar. You know, I mean, Castleford have gone and got Chase Blair, haven't they? You know, we're gonna need to be in that sort of club, if you like. You know, they need to be going and getting somebody. You know, even looking at Leeds, Trent Merrin, Conrad Hurrell, they're big names. You know, yeah. and we're gonna need to be in that market. Well, I think Wigan fans are. Not disappointed with the names they've been linked with, but there's been talk about Chris Atkin from Hull KR, Mitch Chris Clark Atkin. from Castleford. Are these the names Wigan are going to take Wigan to the next level? or Chris Atkin will do a very good job at Wigan. Um, I think I don't, I don't think he'll stay at Rovers because I know that um, Tim Sheens has taken a dislike to him and he's, you know, I mean, we, we, we played Rovers on Good Friday and their halves that day were Danny Maguire and Josh Drinkwater. Danny Maguire, who's been there and done it and seen it all. Um, Josh Drinkwater, who won a Challenge Cup last year with Catalans. And the, the pair of them together just looked absolutely lost. You know, they, they did not look like a Hull Kingston Rovers halfback pairing. You know, when you look back down the years, who Rovers have had, like of Blake Green, Michael Dobson, people like that. Chris Atkin would be in that similar sort of mould as someone like a Blake Green, you know, that nobody really knew about at the time, you know, but the way he's been treated at Rovers is frankly disgusting, and I think he'll he'll be off and he'll he'll go to Wigan, and he's the type who will go to Wigan and he'll he'll yes Wigan needs to go and get a big name they really do, but Chris Atkin. Make no mistake, going to Wigan would do a very good job for them, I think, personally. Well, I think we've mentioned earlier every team in Super, they're warranting and have got Ryan Atkins off contract, but I think he's going to agree a new deal. Lamatasi could potentially be looked at by other clubs, but then, again, they might... Ben, ben Westwood is bound to get a deal at Warrington. Yeah, extra year, yeah. You know, I, I, think, I think they'll tie him down to a 10-year deal, <laughs> knowing Warrington. Yeah. Ben, but for Ben Wigan's Westwood. off contract are quite worrying. Well, well, yeah, Joe Burgess has apparently agreed a new deal this morning, and then you've got Sean O'Loughlin, Dan Sargent, and Tony Club, three big players for them. Do you think? I mean, Sean O'Loughlin, you would expect to make a decision Lockers on his future, surely, yeah. yeah, and he, he'll, he'll, it's, it's up to him, really. It's not a case of him not being offered a new deal, is it? And then your hometown, Wakefield, they're, they're currently struggling with injuries, but of the players that are off contract, who out of them do you think they should keep and should let go? I think they'll try to keep most of them really there. Don't know how old Danny Kermond is now, but he's been up with for a long time. Tyler Randall's a good player. Yeah, I think Paulie or, Paul is the one that people will be looking at as well because he's a big unit and him and David Fafita as a, as a combination and as a duo Paul, of really. I don't think it'd be a massive loss to him to be honest. Uh, to, to, to be honest, Paul David Fafita's mould. Yeah, pa Pauly, Pauly, Pauly. I mean, I saw him the other week play against us at the KCOM Stadium, and he's not the player that they signed. He is just well, that's he, one he, game he, though, he, isn't he, it? He's one really big lump, but I think he he really struggled against a Hull side that were not at full strength. They were nowhere near full strength, and he really he really struggled. Well, to be fair, I think that's one game. I've seen him in a few games yeah. this season, and it's been impressive, so... I think um, it goes well when it, the others do a lot of the hard work. Yeah, so. well, I think... Yeah, you got, Whitfield have got a really good uh, forward pack, and I think out of the players that are off contract, they're, they're keeping their main players, really, so I think Chris Chester will probably tie a couple of those down, and then Sean Whitfield remain competitive, but... And like I said, there's a lot of players off contracts. Who would you like to see your team sign? Who would you like to see your team keep? Who are you worried about losing? Uh, please subscribe, like, and let us know in the comments.